in this video, I'm going to be breaking down a very simple little levels concept that is really effective for basically beating every coverage in the game. And I, it's actually one of my favorite uh, five out concepts in this game. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. It just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies here on the channel. Also, I want to let you know real quick before we dive into the video, I'm going to talk about the trips tied in today out of the New England playbook. And real quick, if you want to learn my trips tied in ebook, if you want to get that, or if you want to get all of my Madden ebooks, you can get them by joining my Patreon. My Patreon is only ten dollars a month, and the cool part about it is you get access while your membership's active. You'll get access to all eighteen offensive and defensive guides that I have in there, all updates to those guides, and any new ebooks uh, that we release. So if you want to get access to that again, it's only ten bucks, and while your subscription is active, you get everything. Okay, guys, so today we're going to be talking about, like I said, one of my favorite, um, really just one of my favorite concepts in general. I love the read progression of this play, and I just think it's something that's real simple and really practical. So the play is PA counter go. You can do this out of other concepts, other plays. Really the concept is um, we're wanting to try to, this is something I really like to run against Mabel, uh, Mabel uh, concepts or Mabel defenses. So if they're running a lot of Mabel coverage, this is something that I like to run, okay? It's actually relatively simple, too. Uh, all we're going to do with this is, and again, you could do this out of anything, but I like doing it out of PA counter go the most. But basically, we're going to streak our tight end. We're going to out route our running back. And then we're going to in route our outside receiver and our outside slot receiver. So we're gonna basically do kind of a double in concept. And this double in concept, what you'll see is the levels attack the defense in such a way that you're gonna be able to really, again, attack the defense in the middle of the field um, with, your, with your routes. Now the beauty of this is the way that the route combo is set up, we're also gonna be able to attack the defense high and outside to the right and low and outside to the right. So you'll see here, if they're not playing hard flats, I can just throw this quick out to the back, get that out quick. That's one of the most underrated route combos or routes in the trip side end playbook because what that forces them to do by you just doing that one route right there, now they're gonna be forced to have to um, go with a hard flat and that's gonna allow your crosser to come right here. So what they're gonna then have to do to guard the crosser and the running back route is they're gonna have to have uh, a double flat type of defense. So you're going to have something like this with their user in the middle of the field. And the beauty of how this all is going to work out for you is you'll see here, number one, I can oftentimes hit this tight end up a seam. If they're kind of falling asleep out of the cover three, I can easily work that route combo as well. The other thing that I can do with this um, from, a, from a concept perspective, again, they have to be in the middle of the field. Okay, so because they have to be in the middle of the field with their user, I'm going to double up on my in routes. And I think that this is super underrated. You'll see how quick that first in route comes across. And you see right there, you're just getting this nice little simple double read. Now, if you want to, um, if you want to, what you can do with this is you can drag the first one. That'll just give a little bit better timing. So I'll show you what that looks like real quick. So if we were to drag the outside slot instead of in route him. So you see you got a drag and then you got to in. Now you'll see here again, the running back gets out there quick. Now this guy's coming open right here. And it's a little bit better spacing. And what this is going to really boil down to is their user's not going to be able to user everything on this play. If you want to put your running back on a, like a table route or a wheel route, that's not a terrible idea because you'll see he gets to the flat a little quicker and then he opens this up as you can see right there. So that's another little piece of this. Um, you can, if you want to wheel him, uh, you certainly can. It's a real simple play, but I'm telling you, this is actually a very little effective concept. Notice something with the wheel that I think I wanna point out here real quick to you, is if you wheel the running back, most of the time their underneath zones are gonna be purple zones, curl flats, seam flats, all that stuff. Watch this curl flat, you're gonna see it's gonna go upfield and then it's gonna leave that massive void for that slot. So that's a way that you can kind of mess with that, that concept a little bit. Uh, one of the other things that you could do kind of building off of this is you can actually leverage the power of your tight end on this out. So let's say for example, that I'm over here on this hash 
and I don't, let's say for example, I've already ran, um, you know, by putting this guy to 30 yard cloud. So then what I could do is go to the verticals, uh, verticals play. And the reason I'm suggesting the verticals play is because now what we can do is a seam streak to Chris Godwin, a drag to Scotty Miller, an in route to Mike Evans. And then if you want to do a wheel route or a table route to the running back, something simple like this, or you can do it out of counter go, and I'll show that in just a second. But what you can see with this is now we've got this nice little short corner high low there, and then you've got this in route that's coming across the formation as well. The beauty of this is, again, it's going to force the opponent to have to have two yellow zones and two hard flats. To me, that is really one of the, the best things you can do against a defense. Um, you'll see here this is counter go now. And what you'll see again, out route pulls all the zones out of the way. Now I've got two yellow zones, which I can now not have a deep cloud over there to be able to defend that route. So this is just one of my favorite little setups. You can do it like this for sure. Um, but I really do like the drag route. Um, one other thing you can actually do with this that I actually really like to do is a little bit of a quads concept where I just motion the running back over and just put him on a swing. What you'll see is all the zones will pull that direction. And then now you can really attack your drag or your, uh, or your other route. So real simple route combination for you today. Uh, but just something that I wanted, I, I haven't talked about too much on the channel. Um, now the, I want to show you one other concept with this. And that is the drag, um, if I can find it here, the drive post. What's interesting about the drive post, if you take a look closely at these two, the double ends here, this is a great route combo to do this out of. Um, what I would recommend is to go ahead and take the running back and you could put him on the vertical and actually motion him into a five wide look. And the reason why I like this so much is because this, this outside drag is gonna do a little hesitation move and it really does help a lot with the timing. And as you can see, your routes become much more open. This is a great concept against cover two. Um, it's a great concept against cover three, Mabel. Let me show you something about this against cover two real quick. So again, you're just gonna put this guy in motion. If you want to, you can go ahead and seam streak uh, Gronkowski. And then with this backside running back here, you can actually do whatever you want. I like actually to put him on a smoke. So now I got a nice little flat pull route but then if you take a look here, you see against cover two, these little drag and levels plays uh, really, really well. So that's one way you can do it. Another way that I love to do this is to streak uh, Scotty Miller. And the reason why I like to do that is just because it creates a natural, you got a nice high low between your corner and your out route. And then now there's a lot of space underneath here for this little route right here to come underneath and get under all the zone coverages. So it's just creating levels, and really what you're trying to do is high, low, then in the middle of the field, um, that's gonna open up a lot more stuff for your route. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it was helpful. And if you wanna get better at the game, or if you wanna get all my eBooks and really get a deep dive into the game, join the Patreon. Remember, for just $10 a month, you can get all access to every uh, all Madden, uh, 18 Madden 22 eBooks I've got, as well as any new eBooks while your membership's active and any updates that we release. And we typically update it every single week with new material. So if you wanna get access to all of that, there's a link in the description below. So just head on down to the description and click the link down there and you can go sign up for the membership.